SwiftUI's form view lets us store user input in a really fast and convenient way. But sometimes it's important to go a step further to check that input to make sure it's valid before we proceed. Well, we have a modifier just for that purpose, disabled. This takes a condition to check, and if the condition is true, then whatever it's attached to won't respond to user input. Buttons can't be tapped, sliders can't be dragged, and so on. You can use simple properties here, but any condition will do. Reading a computer property, calling a method, and so on. To demonstrate this, we can write a form that accepts a username and email address. At state, var username equals empty string. At state, var email equals empty string. Form, section, text field, username, text, dollar username, text field, email, text, dollar email. Section, button, create account, print, creating account. In this example, we don't want users to create an account unless both fields have been filled in. So we can disable the form section containing the create account button by adding the disable modifier like this. Dot disabled, username dot is empty, or email dot is empty. That means this section is disabled if username is empty or email is empty, which is exactly what we want. You might find that it's worth spinning out your conditions into a separate computed property, such as this, var disabled form, bool, username.count is less than five, or email.count is less than five. Now you can just reference that in your modifier, dot disabled, disabled form. Regardless of how you do it, I hope you try running the app and seeing how SwiftUI handles a disabled button. When our test fails, the button's text goes gray, but as soon as the test passes, the button lights up blue.